Hey guys, what's up? It's Rooster here from the FinFM and welcome back to my Football Manager 2016 series called The Finnish Legend. And last time we spoke, we played Torino FC 2-2 tie in the Team Cup uh, semi-final second leg, which gave us the forwarding position from that time. We are facing, believe it or not, Cagliari in the Team Cup final. Yes, it's not Juventus, so we finally get a new cup winner this season on Italian football which is exciting in itself but also I'm excited that I have a possibility at least well I did have last season also but to this year I'm really really looking good at our chances to get some silverware uh, to Sampdoria which has been pretty much in the drought uh, for many years now so I'm really looking forward to that, but that's something that we will see at the end of the season. And uh, like I said in that video, but today we are going to go against RB Leipzig. And we're playing in the second round knockouts on UEFA Europa League. And I'm really, really hoping that after this game we can keep marching further uh, in, in European competitions. We already played the first leg against Leipzig. I will show the result in a sec. But yeah, I'm excited about this game. I'm excited to record it and show it to you. Because uh, in all in all, if, if you uh, are into German football, you do know that RB Leipzig is one of the most if not the most hated uh, football club, uh, club uh, around Germany, you know, mainly because, you know, people feel like it's Red, Red Bull uh, sponsor to stunt the whole team. But yeah, let's go see some, you know, results, how we have done so, uh, in the meantime when I was off camera. So there is the Torino game, and what really hurt me... Um, you know, last time you saw, I had played uh, Polonia and lost at home, 1-0, uh, which is really bad. But then we played Latina Calcio, 1-1 one, one draw at home. And we will go and have a look on the stats on that game, if it just, you know, gives me the stats. Okay, there it is. But look, 1-1, one, one, a goal from Ezequiel Zeruti and Ismail Koshkin are the ones that scored. But look, shots, 29. 29 shots, 11 on target, 14 off target, uh, 4 of those shots were blocked, a clear good chance is 5, uh, possession 58% in that game, 14 corners, uh, obviously 9 fouls, well yeah, passes completed 82%, uh, 381 passes out of 461, we were just you know walking over uh, Latina culture, which we just couldn't score from anywhere. I mean, Bonazali played really, really bad game. Uh, yeah, I mean, Melek replaced him, but look! These are games that we should be winning. Uh, total domination, and we just can't come up with a win. Obviously, you see, I played, uh, I played a team that is if you could say, if you've seen how I play, if, if you could say, we didn't play the first team options in this game, but still, 29 shots, one goal. It was really, really, really bad. Uh, bad result, and uh, really hurt us uh, in the competition, because Juventus is running away with the title again, like, well, I was able to field a pretty uh, sizable, you know, chase in the end of the season, last season, but um, Juventus is just, you know, running away with the title with results like this. I mean, Latina Calcio was something like 14th when we played, but I was just not able to come up with a win, and I was really, really pissed about that, but let's jump back into the schedule. After that game, uh, we played, you know, the first game against RB Leipzig 2-0, uh, really comfortable win at home. Uh, Leipzig uh, somewhat, um, you know, they, they were dominating that game, and I'll, I'll give that to them. And I was, I was perhaps a bit cautious um, 
in that game because my game plan was to just, just to shut down uh, Benteke and Seleke because Benteke has been a beast in this league this season. I think he has scored like 27 goals together and almost 20 in the Bundesliga Liga and, and their fifth spot in Bundesliga. So by, by any means it's a good team we're facing and we did face them uh, at home so really good result to nil and we just have to build on that today when we're gonna face them again. I uh, used Geno on plus three which is where I play my defensive midfielder uh, and he was marking on um, Selke the whole game but still you know if you look at stats 16 shots, uh, 4 on target, we also have 4 on target, 8 off target, I'm sorry, 1-1 one, one clear with chances, position pretty even, so to speak, but look at the fouls again, we're just fouling left, right and center in that game, and that is, that is something I will come back uh, at least after after uh, this season that I'm fouling, fouling quite a lot, and Obviously, you have a couple of players that I really, really need to look into what I'm going to do with them. Obviously, one of them being uh, Fausto Grillo, who is also actually playing today because Mamana is suspended. After a light -tick game, we played uh, Lesh or Leke, or what, I mean, I say Lesh. Uh, just correct me if you know how to speak Italian. I don't. Uh, we played 32, win away, and the thing was that I was uh, <clears throat> leading pretty comfortably, 3-1, but they managed to, Sansone managed to actually score two pretty stupid goals, um, clear mistakes, both goals, so I wasn't happy about that. But yeah, we dominated that game, uh, 13 shots against their 11, pretty even there, um, clear cuts, uh, also even, but possession was, was was in our side at 57%. Uh, percent. Fouls were even, like 15 on both sides. Uh, passes completed, 7-3. Well, so we dominated that game in, in that sense, but really wasn't happy with the comeback. But they, they, would, they managed to get that one goal in the end, and basically both the goals were pretty stupid, so... But today we're going to head to see RP Leipzig. I'm just gonna show you the team and we're gonna play in the Red Bull Arena. What else? Uh, Leipzig, Germany, uh, 44,000 capacity in that stadium. A really good size on that. And that was the last starting 11. I'm, I'm pretty sure they filled this formation also. Today, Ralf Rangnick is their manager and Josef Olsen did Danish is their captain. So yeah, rich beyond your wildest dreams. Probably the Leipzig side, but let's see the senior screen. See, see, see the guys we're looking uh, after for today. And obviously, I want to show you Christian Benteke, 27 goals in total, uh, 18 in Bundesliga. So really, really good. And then the only um, Injury that could hurt them is their defensive midfielder Felipe Augusto who's injured and is away 10 days to 2 weeks so he's not going to play against us. Other than that, you know, these injuries they're not anything, you know, be noted for. Probably these guys wouldn't have even played uh, if... Uh, even if they would be in good health. And look at the passing. Uh, Augusto was one of the past best uh, passers in that sense and actually tied second with key passes. So that's a good thing for us, but it's a quality team. They can field other guys that can do that job. So we should, we should be really, really careful in that sense. Look at the average ratings. I mean, you know, the total average, obviously, Benteke 7.23. I mean, he's been a beast. His condition is a bit, mm, but I'm really, really sure that he will play still in that game. Other than that, they're pretty good, they're in good shape, so should be a fun match. So, without further ado, Let's go see the match preview screen and see how the conditions and such are in this uh, second round knockout second leg against RB Leipzig. The weather 
it's pretty calm but one degree so obviously we're at March so it's a bit chilly on Leipzig 43,000 tickets sold so it's almost a full house tonight uh, against us in Leipzig and Martin Atkinson is the referee four red cards 97 yellows he's 2.3 average so he's quite lenient so he might be you know favor us with talking to the players and not just showing the cards straight away we will see that and obviously as I mentioned Ralf Rangnick is their manager 59 years old and he has been there over 2000 days so really knows knows that stuff and obviously some players I already mentioned Felipe Augusto is out and if we look at or our um, you know report this only thing that we are missing is Emmanuel Mamana is suspended and Foster Grillo will start in his place but let's just go and jump straight into the starting lineups for today's game RB Leipzig vs Sampdoria here we are starting lineups for today's game for Leipzig, Kraft and Goal uh, Bornos, Akanyi, Kerchev and Lukas Klosterman is the back for Zabiter, Ozdoyev, Forsberg and Paulson is the midfield and Selke and Benteke are the two strikers, the towering guys, really dangerous ones. And we are coming out with a general class one, Viviana at goal, Regini, Lopez, Grillo and Figueras is the back for Buracci, Ristix, Delaney and Jonas Hoffman, the midfield, Marcus Asensio is my attacking midfielder and as a surprise, surprise, uh, notion is Frederick Bonasoli is going to play target man today because I've been you know experiencing a target man for, for a fair bit now and as of some of my friends and really wanting to see how will he will play out in, in this system as a target man because I got some good results using that spot so we're gonna see today a bit of experiment in really really important game and my subs are Eduardo, Pione Sister, Ricardo Van der Rien, Zerotti, Kresitic, Eder and Milik. So for the instructions we're gonna close these guys like really tight and actually a marked uh, Selke in last game. I'm not gonna do that at least at start now. I'm gonna close down Zabitzer and close down Paulson even though he's playing uh, a bit lower to the field. Klosterman is going to get closed also. So this is the way we're gonna go out now. And we will come back to this as the game evolves. And we should challenge the team to pick up where they left off. I'm just gonna go calmly. I'm just gonna keep the calm. Calm uh, mirrors here today. We gotta fade in all you guys. And that's that. Looking pretty green. Everybody sees composed. Uh, so looking really good and we are starting the match and Asensio to Delaney to Ristich, place it to Baracci, place it to Regini but that is just a pad pass and Klosterman with the throw, Paulson still with the ball but that is cleared, a Fosberg plays and Lissandro is with the ball and passes back to Viviano who tries to find Monazoli Baracci loses the ball to Klosterman and Benteke is right there. Selke, Alessandro and Grillo is able to intercept that. Jonas Hoffman to Ascension. That's the end of highlight. And Regini is already taking yellow cards. Delaney with the ball. Bonazoli plays it to Regini. Plays it to Ascension to Bonazoli. Wow, there's a couple of shots right there in front of goal. Busy start from our Sanguria side and Bonasoli is offside and he is actually picking up a knock which is not a good thing. Uh, Regini with the ball, Asensio plays it to Baracci, to Delaney, to Bonasoli, to Akanji, 
place to sell cabinet that is well uh, off him. Grillo plays it to Viviano. Viviano plays it to Figueras. Plays it to Hoffman. Tries to find Asensio, but that is not a really good pass. Grillo and Selke is true, and he tries to shoot, but Viviano is able to get the ball on Soli, and they are reaching out for him. Clusterman plays it to. And Paulson is there, and really dangerous stuff, and Rist is able to clear that. Sbicher with the corner, and that is just headed away. Forsberg, Paulson, some Scandinavian double team right there, and that's the end of highlight. And Klosterman is getting a car in this. Regini with the throw, Ristic back to Regini, to Ristic, to Asensio, to Bonzoli, but he loses the ball, and Benteke is right there, and Sabicer. Still with the ball, but Asensio gets the ball, plays it to Bonasoli. Bonasoli, what he's gonna he's gonna pass to Figueras. Still Figueras uh, crosses the ball, but that they are able to clear it away. And Paulson just plays it forward. But Grillo is there, but Selke fights the ball back. As Doyev and Lisandro is intercepting them. Bonasoli just heads that somewhere. Uh, Paulson, Grillo, Paulson shoots, and Viviano able to make a good save to a corner. Zabiter. Just floating that in, but that is cleared away. Viviano finds Bonzoli, passes to Asensio. Asensio with the ball, passes to Hoffman. Hoffman passes to Figuera. Figueras crosses. Bracci is there, but that is a wide header. Wrist is trying to find Bracci. Ball Paulson, still Paulson. Uh, Paulson and Benteke plays to Selke. But that is just easy ball to Viviano, and he just smacks it to Bonazzoli, which is the side product of this target man usage. Bonazzoli plays it to Asensio, plays it to Jonas Hoffman, goes forward, and Bracci is there, and 1 nil Cristiano Bracci, ninth goal of the season. Really, really good effort by Jonas Hoffman. Taking up the space and going to the line and just passing it to Bracci. Graf is able to save the first one, but Brirachi is there to finish the goal. Really good stuff. Asensio floats one in. Figueras to Asensio, to Regini, to Ristich. Ristich with the ball. Please be safe. Delaney plays to Brirachi, and he just smacks it to Klosterman for some reason. Grillo is able to get the intercepts, and Ajayev and Grillo is right there. Sabitzer, Regini. The guys are really fighting for the team at the moment. Uh, Silke tries to find the ball, but that is cleared away. Klosterman tries to go to Regini. Sabitzer plays to Klosterman in clear space. And Paulson is right there to put that in. And I am a bit worried about Vasco Regini. I'm just going to need to tell him that he's going to need to ease off at this point. Uh, because... Uh, I really don't want him to get sent off. 1-1 one, one, and 1-3 one, on aggregate at the moment. So really good attack because Klosterman just runs to space and there's nobody to uh, actually mark him. Paulson and he just gets a empty net to put the ball right in. So really, really good stuff from the light. No, no, no holes barred there. Selke running to space. And Regini just is there to collect the ball. What's he gonna do about that? And he just smashed it to Klosterman. And Selka is there, but he is offside. So, end of first half. And yeah, well, Bonasoli is, you know, distributing a ball uh, quite well, I think. But let's go see some analysis from a Pearl Zone. And look how we are in the heat map so we're pretty and uh, most of the heat comes from the middle at the moment and looking at the average position we're right there uh, they, these guys are actually pretty tight uh, right there and uh, Raji is, is more forward in that sense let's see without the ball we are drawn a bit more towards a goal and that is with the ball. So let's see how Leipzig looks overall. They are pressed pretty high up. And they got this cluster of players in the middle. Really tightly there. 
And so we might uh, think of some of the options here at later stages. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's see our passing here. Uh, completed in blah, 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 blah. key passes 15, and a couple of those are pretty long. Look, from Asensio, pretty long there. Uh, and all in all, our passing is pretty long at the moment. I might uh, want to lose the target man and try to keep the ball. That would be one option, or I just continue with target target man and see what that does. I mean, Leipzig is also uh, having quite uh, quite long passes, not too many uh, these short passes around the box. Long passes from guys like here, here, and there, trying to run, run in, in you know behind our defensive line. So we might go and check that out and look at some Leipzig stats. Sabitzer crosses thirteen. So Benteke is uh, having key passes six, and he is passing quite well. Uh, and this Klosterman is just completing a lot of passes, a lot of key passes. So <laughs> we might want to do something about that. Um, let's go see some player instructions, and there's uh, Birachi. Mark uh, Klosterman and Mark him tighter and close down because I'm not closing down with this tactic that much and I won't won't start doing that in the midst of the game but I just want to close down uh, Klosterman for a bit I'm not going to do much for Ben Tech. I'm just going to go up to up position instruction I'm just going to go a bit more harder on him and I'm just gonna close down this guy too. Um, maybe close down Forsberg. And there would be my options for this halftime. So I'm, I'm just pleased, guys. Things looking good. Uh, we're gonna go out with the same uh, outset, but we will be looking at that really closely. Kanji, Kerchev, and Selke to Paulson to Ojayev to Benteke, but we are he's offside. And somebody is tackling someone. I couldn't get to see that. And Kerchev is getting a yellow card. Klosterman to Forsberg to Paulson. Still Paulson with the ball. Forsberg to Benteke, but Grillo is still to take that away. Viviano play, tries to play it to Bonzoli. And actually this target man stuff is uh, at the moment looking like we're just giving the ball away too much. Paulson with the ball, but Viviano with a good save. And Leipzig is kind of applying a lot of pressure. Viviano with the ball, and he just... Probably gonna smack it towards Bonzoli, and that is not even close, Viviano. Kraft with the ball, Grillo, Selke, Alessandro, and we are not even trying to play at the moment, and I'm really not liking what I see. Delaney gets that, Bonzoli, Asensio to Delaney, and he's not gonna score. <laughs> I was pretty sure about that, because he's not known for his epic epic scoring ability and this is this looks really bad i mean managers should not ever ever shout in the sideline oh he's not gonna score but um i'm just gonna go to advanced tactics and i'm gonna i'm gonna take uh target man option away from um uh, from uh bonzoli and put him on complete forward on support so I'm just gonna put the passing on short, be a bit more narrow. And dun, 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 dun. Uh, don't know if I want to go normal here. I'm gonna be slightly higher still. 
but yeah, this is something we're gonna change for a bit. And Bonzoli is on a range that he will be coming off, um, and I will be will be putting these guys a bit more on support. And yeah, that's something. And fifty fifth minute, uh, which what we are going to do and trying to, you know. Get some uh, possession and stuff like that, but not Jonas, not like that. That is not gonna work for us. Beecher, still with the ball, Forsberg, but he is offside. It was really bad to play with Jonas Hoffman. Asensio Delaney heading there, but Kraft is able to get the ball. And he just maxed that away. Hoffman, still Hoffman, don't lose it. Delaney, but that's there's no speed there, and that's pretty pointless. True ball. Selke. Pulse and Penteke, and Penteke is playing actually fairly, you know, it's not that high on the bit pitch actually. 65th minute. I'm just gonna watch some guys how they're doing. Similar, um, similar three on Misa Mihail Ristic. He's not playing that great, to be honest, in that game. But I'm gonna take Lonozali off, and I'm just gonna put Eder in there because Eder have has a a great deal of speed. Which we can use in, in those you know, transition phases if we're gonna get that. So I'm just gonna confirm that, say error in the calm fashion, that's how I run, and he looks happy, which is kind of amazing because they never look happy when I talk in the midst of the game. Regini, Baraji to Regini to Figueras, and that is to a corner. Okay, Sensei with the corner, floats one in, Richard! Oh, ooh, that was a quick, good opportunity with Kraft. Is there and he's able to save that and I'm sorry but I just saw them having a substitution and that's Marvin Friedrich I'm not gonna do anything to that so yeah Regini with the ball still with the ball and just pad pass and Grillo who is having a exceptionally good game in my mind he's doing really good and Delaney to Edder to no one to Selke so I'm Paulson, Albertnach, and Lissandro Asensio with the ball. Plays to Eder. Eder shoots, but that is blocked for a corner. Asensio with the corner. Hoffman, Asensio, and another corner. And Hoffman is going for taking this one. He floats one in. Nothing there. And that is a throw in. And we're gonna go 71st minute. And we got a guy or 71s, uh, 71, 71, 71. And what I really want to do is we're going to bring in speed. So Pione Sisto is coming in on the left side because he can also play there. And, um, well, Rich has paced up a bit. Figueras is there for Vasco Regini. And, uh, hmm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Krisitic on Ristic's play. So, Nenad Krisitic is coming here and this is the thing we're going to do right into the very and I just went assertive there. Well, let's just do it. And these guys are happy about that. And Figueres with the throw. Asensio still with the ball. Hoffman, Eder, and 2 1. Pretty comfortable goal from there. You know, really, you know, calm build up on that one. Couple passes. There's Asensio finds Hoffman. Hoffman just glues two players onto him. And Eder is there and just puts one on the top. Really good stuff, 72nd minute, and it really, really looks like, guys, that we're going forward from uh, second knockout round on Europa League. Chinchukov and Viviano is there to get the ball. Sabitzer with the corner, but Asensio heads it away, and Hoffman finishes that one. Sabitzer with the Ozolia, Paulson, and Viviano just gathers the ball, you know, in calm fashion. Free kick for Nico Albornoz gets the yellow card. Figueras, Delaney, Krisitic plays it to Figueras, plays it to Hoffman, Azayev is there, Benteke, 
and Wolf and Lazy to Benteke, but there's Fausto Grillo with full time and uh, really, really good stuff. Comfortable 2 1 uh, away victory of RB Leipzig and 1 4 on the aggregates. So you, you really have to be, you know, happy about this, this sort of uh, effort. And I'm just gonna tell uh, that was a good solid win. I'm just gonna keep it calm. Uh, well done, lads. That was a good result for us. And let's look at the match stats real quick here. Leipzig 18, 11 on target 9. We had 6 uh, off 6. So we only got 3 blocked ones. Uh, clear cut chances 2. We got 3. And we actually managed to keep the possession of 54. 4% that this kind of like mirroring in that sense uh, towards our home game against Leipzig. 10 corners, they got 8 uh, fouls. I'm re really happy about that round. We're <laughs> gonna see the 15 fouls in the Leica game. Pass is complete 72%, uh, 383 from 528 pass. We tried so many passes in this game. And only one yellow card, which is great, and even greater is that it wasn't Fausto Grillo. Average rating of 7.35. So, yeah, a really good match, and I'm more than happy to see our team, you know, forwarding further to in UEFA Europa League. So let's go into, let's go and have a look uh, what's in store uh, next for us. So. Okay, after three comfortable wins, there's the Leipzig game, and we are going to come back, I don't know, you know, Sassuolo, Cagliari, you know, the European League quarterfinals, that would be like five games away, it's either that or Roma game, and it kind of depends how I do in the first game in the league uh, quarterfinal and I will decide after that but it's either the decisive game of the quarterfinal or Roma so yeah thank you guys for watching and thanks to everybody uh, who's supporting my channel and you know following my channel liking my videos uh, you know come out commenting giving feedback feedback on my videos giving feedback to my uh, blog posts so I really want to thank you guys, It's it really, really helps me a lot to actually start making this stuff and, you know, finding time for it uh, in my schedule and it's really great. So obviously if you like this one, just tap that like and if you like my, like my content, please subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I already said that it helps me when I said it again now, so... Until next time, uh, until next time, guys. Uh, take care.